So doing another check-in video, we have our crankshaft finally in. We got the correct crankshaft bearings. Now we're going to be putting the engine back on the engine stand where we're gonna be reinstalling the pistons and the new rings. Once we get those on, we're gonna to attempt to put the head on. If we can get to that point and get the head retimed today, then we'll be in really good condition. We'll be able to get all of the external parts put back on it. And then we'll be getting really close to pulling the engine out of the car and swapping it with this new rebuilt one. The other thing we want to go over real quick is we use this Harbor Freight ring compressor and it's actually worked really well. I think this was like $12 and we were over there looking for other tools and we just happened to come across this. I was going to buy one from O'Reilly or AutoZone or something like that and we just happened to find this and it worked absolutely awesome. So this will also be linked in the description below. Look, like, this is the kind of thing that just, I love engineering. Look at the clearances on these things. I mean, it's just like, and how close that is coming. Like if you look right on this angle here, you know, how close that weight comes. All the main journal bearings are fully torqued. All the piston connecting rods are in place and fully torqued. The bottom end of this baby is put together. And the only sound you hear is the brand new rings rubbing on the brand new home cylinder walls. So now we're going to put the oil pump, oil pan, all that stuff that covers this up because we no longer need to be in here. This is all done. Bottom end is down. So then we're going to do that and then we're going to move on to doing the timing and the head. Not in that order. Head then timing. <laughs> And we will follow this to the letter. Because that is what ARP, you always follow the bolt manufacturer's spec. Well, that wraps up today's video. So to just recap what happened today, we got the crankshaft put in the rest of the way, got our pistons in, we got the head on. We started our timing process, uh, but we didn't get that finished, so I'm gonna be doing that this week, and then I'm gonna start pulling the front of the car apart. Um, to anybody who's looking at doing this project, I really encourage you to do something like this. I've absolutely loved rebuilding my engine. Now, I know I'm pretty lucky with the setup I've got. I've got a nice 
warm, well-lit garage, and I've got plenty of tools and everything like that, but even in conditions that, that wouldn't be as nice as this, I still believe that this is an excellent project for people that are really into cars and really wanna be able to learn their car and their engine really well to do something like this. So I wanna say a quick thanks to everybody who stuck around this long for this video. Uh, I know a lot of my rebuild videos aren't gonna be the most exciting. They're just kinda of document my experiences with what's been going on. As soon as we get this back in the car, it'll be business as usual, all the fun upgrades, and uh, we're gonna be definitely doing some more hooning around in the car. So until next time. Let's have a